If you're like me, some missions in GTA Online can be challenging to complete. So today in this video, I will be going through the top 10 hardest missions in GTA Online and playing each mission to display just how hard it can be. Let's see how much trouble I'll run into. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, we're jumping into our number 10 mission right here. The 10th hardest mission in GTA Online, in my opinion, which is going to be out of harmony. Now I'm going to expect that most of y'all haven't really even done this mission mission is because this mission is just a normal contact mission it's technically a mission for trevor so this mission's definitely been out in the game for a long long time but even with all the new missions like added into the game since this mission came out it is still incredibly difficult it's pretty much due to the circumstances once we get to where we need to go and right now if i can not wreck my vehicle um we're trying to go to the cement works and once we get to the cement works it's going to really start getting difficult so i guess i'll hopefully stop wrecking and see you at the cement works. All right, so I finally made it to Cement Works. Now, you would probably think, oh, how is this mission hard? You have a vigilante. I mean, I can use the vigilante, I guess, for some people, but I mean... Okay, no vehicles. Okay, <laughs> I actually thought I could, you know, use the vigilante to like blow at least some of the stuff up. But there's definitely something that we can't blow up that we need to drive. But that's not what I blew up. I'm a little confused why that ruined that mission, but that's okay. All right, so let's try this again. Um, we're not gonna use our vigilante. I wasn't gonna use my vigilante, you know, like the entire time, anyways, because I can't. But I guess I can't blow up any of their vehicles. As you can see, at the bottom right, there's a timer. There's a timer that starts at six minutes. And the thing with this mission is that we have to. Okay, I died. That's awesome. So what we have to do for this mission is we have to take out these people. You don't have to, but you have to steal like a trailer. But there's a ton of people and they're pretty deadly. I hope I got snacks before it. Uh-huh. Yeah. These guys are pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're understanding the point of this video now. This is incredibly difficult. All right, so yeah, we have to take out a bunch of people. But as you've seen, these guys are pretty annoying to take out. Oh, there's a guy right here. I didn't even... Oh, those are probably the people that killed me last time. They just drove up behind me. So yeah, the trailer's over here in this area. I shot my vigil... I don't... Oh, who? I don't even know who shot me there. Yeah, these guys are deadly accurate. I don't even remember them being this deadly accurate. Right around a year ago, almost a year ago, I made a video of my top five hardest missions in the game, but I didn't include any heist finales. So this video, we're going to definitely include the highest finales. I think during that video, this mission was the fifth hardest, in my opinion, out of the five that I ranked. Yeah, it's a pretty difficult mission. All right, I think I killed enough people. I don't know. I'm going to risk it a little bit. Uh, Yeah, I'm risking it a little bit because we have a timer. We have a timer to go to our delivery point. So we need to start getting out of here pretty quickly. So there we go. We have the trailer. And now we have to try to take this trailer to the boatyard. And the boatyard is right around like three and a half miles away. And we have four minutes to do this, which is not very ideal. Not a lot of wiggle room we have to be pretty much mistake free another thing about this mission is that this trailer if you hit this trailer the wrong way if you wreck the wrong way like this trailer would just blow up so easily so we need to be as mistake free as possible all right so we've made it to where we needed to go honestly not too bad at all this time around all right there we go we've made it to the boatyard but we're not done yet you would think that this would be the end of the mission no so now what we need to do is we just need to protect the shipment but the problem is is that if we die and we fail this mission from here we have to restart back to before we even collected the trailer so we'd have to take out all those guys again like this part is definitely easier but the problem is is that you don't want to screw up here at all. all right i think there's one more person we have to take out right there is that it is there another wave i guess there's another wave i don't see anyone else bro there's bikers all the way over here that they want me to take out what game okay y'all are just being stupid at this point oh okay I, this has never happened during this mission but apparently some bikers i guess kind of got glitched out over here and i'm supposed to take it all the bikers so i gotta go over there and kind of put them out of their misery dude i can't even see them i'm just hoping auto lock will just take care of everything which thankfully auto lock can help me out where is this last guy i don't even know where this last guy is he's not on the bridge did you just wreck like an idiot oh yeah oh oh yeah oh yeah okay here i'll save you Fantastic. All right. So now I got to go all the way back to the buyer. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The last part is not normal. That's never happened to me. All right. So here's the buyer all the way down here with a nice AR. I guess he was helping me out, but oh, well, mission passed. Uh, yeah. And this mission too, you don't get a lot of money. They get $14,000. So yeah, there's really no point to actually like do this mission aside from just doing it like once, you know, just to do it. But that was number 10. Let's move on to the ninth hardest mission in GTA online. All right. We're jumping into the ninth hardest mission right here. It's going to be the ULP mission called Kalina. 
job. Now, this mission is kind of hard, but also kind of annoying. It might be a little bit more annoying than it is hard. Yeah, one thing about this mission is that it has juggernauts. It has the Clifford juggernauts. And yeah, for a lot of these other hard missions in GTA Online, they are going to have the Clifford juggernauts. These Clifford juggernauts are a little bit annoying. They're very, very hard to take out. And yeah, they're a big reason why some of these missions are on this list. But I will have to say, I think this mission probably has the most juggernauts, I think. All right, so we need to go to the silo right here. Then we need to get into the silo hatch. All right, so here we go. We are inside of here. Um, Let me pull out a flashlight. Or do I have a gun with a flashlight? I don't know. Oh, this mission's a little scary too. Or it's like a little creepy. Because you're like, you hear the breathing. You hear breathing. And you're like, what the heck is that breathing? It's sleeping juggernauts. Oh, stupid, stupid juggernaut. Wake up. <laughs> You'll wake up later on. But to make this mission a little bit easier, you want to shoot these juggernauts dead. Oh, I have a special carbine mark too that has a flashlight. I guess I'm going to use this because I like to see. I don't like these missions that are dark. All right, anyways, yeah, we had to go in here. We have to locate the power breaker, which is going to be right here. And we're trying to turn on the lights and we're like, oh no, we cannot turn on the lights. So essentially we need to get four of these things. <laughs> yeah. So we need to collect and replace fuses. And the problem with these fuses is that there's 12 possible locations to get four fuses, which is incredibly stupid in my opinion. And this part of the mission is very, very annoying. So yeah, what I like to do is I just like to look up the fuse locations. All right, so I have the website up. So yeah, now it's time for me to try to find these fuses. Now I will say for these missions I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to put it on the hardest difficulty. I think I forgot to put the first mission on hard difficulty. I think I left that one at normal, but I mean, I think it's a little bit okay since, you know, I did kind of fail the mission a few times. <laughs> Aha, I found a fuse. I found a fuse. Here it is. It's this thing right here. That thing that I kind of shot towards. So yeah, we need to grab the fuse and there we go. That's one out of four down. And that is what the third location that I've looked up out of 12. Yeah, this is exciting. Ah, I thought I heard some breathing. Yeah. So just shoot, 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 die. Thank you. Very creepy, very annoying. All right, here's another fuse right here on this workbench. So we found half of the fuses. Need two more to go. All right, here's another fuse location. I think you need to find one more fuse. Aha, I found the last fuse location right here. And there we go. All the fuse locations have been secured. I have to go all the way back to the power breaker, which is so annoying. But I'm going to take out this juggernaut right there so I don't have to deal with them on the way out. All right, so we made it back to the power breaker. So we're going to put in the fuse, all the fuses that we found. I don't know why they even put this in the mission. At least just find like, you know, one like box of fuses instead of, you know, find four separate fuses like all over the place. That could be in a possible of 12 locations, but you know, whatever, it's fine. You know, I make too much sense. So yeah, what we need to do now is we need to go to the server room. All right, so here we go. We've made it to the server room. Aha, hey, hey buddy. It's okay, keep your head up, guy. That's okay, you can keep your head down, you specifically. So what we need to do is we need to connect to the servers. But yeah, there's still some more like juggernauts around the map. Like I think there's one right there, yeah. So I wanna try to take out as many juggernauts as possible. If not, then this is gonna be incredibly hard. I don't think I see any more juggernauts. I only had to take out two in this room, but you know, we're not gonna be able to take out every single juggernaut. Like once we start connecting to the servers, there's gonna be more that spawn in. All right, so here we go, yeah. We're at a server, so now we just need to connect to a server. There right, we go, one server's been connected. Nothing's happening yet. All right, there we go. We just connected to another server, and now everything is kind of going crazy. So yeah, now there's one juggernaut running around. Where's this juggernaut? Oh shoot, this juggernaut's like right here. Oh, awesome. Oh, wait, I can be smart, right? Yeah, I can just throw sticky bombs like that. Well, that was pretty easy. Is that the only juggernaut that's gonna come after me? Did I really do that good of a job just prepping for this? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, there's a juggernaut over there somewhere. Okay, yeah, definitely don't take out the juggernaut like that. God, I can't even see where this juggernaut is. I see just bullets flying towards me. It's like over there somewhere. <laughs> okay, it apparently was right there. There's one more below me, but eh, I'll take out that one later. Now, the thing with this mission is if you take out all like the juggernauts like beforehand, kind of like how I did, all the sleeping juggernauts, but then you die at any point, all those juggernauts are going to spawn back in. And you know, when the alarms start going off, they will come and attack you. So you definitely need to prep for this mission very, very thoroughly. Because if you don't, this could be a lot harder than it has to be be because of all this prep work to even like make this mission even a little bit easier is kind of why i'm putting it on the list yeah this is an incredibly long mission uh this is already taking me i think 20 minutes i think this mission's already taking me 20 minutes and we're almost done yeah this is more like a heist finale but there's just a normal contract mission you know all right there you go all the servers have been hacked so yeah now we need to get out of here but the problem is there's still some more juggernauts oh there's a lot more juggernauts oh okay haha -ha. juggernauts right here uh does that work oh ooh, nice throw i see you yeah there we go Okay. Yeah, there's another juggernaut all the way over here. My goodness. Okay. Even from all the way that far away, the juggernaut can still hit. Here, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? It's a little gap. I can just, you know, send a little missile your way. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Wow. Like, you have to be incredibly careful with this mission. I'm being very cautious. I see you. Uh oh. 
That's on me. That's on me. I was a little careless there. We failed, which is awesome, because that means we're going to have to take out even more juggernauts. All right, so do I have to hack anymore, or are we good? Okay, we just have to escape the silo. Oh, unfortunately, there's a lot of juggernauts we still need to take out. Yeah, these two juggernauts that spawned in up here were the ones that were asleep earlier that I killed before we alerted everyone. I assume once we get down to the lower floor, more juggernauts will spawn. Maybe? No? Yes. Yes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Wow. This is not ideal. He thinks he's cool or something, right? You're a freaking robot. They're just going to eat missiles. It's literally your job to eat missiles like that. Ta-da. Ah, ah. Sorry. I saw another juggernaut. That was another one that I killed that was originally sleeping. Oh, yeah. Just in case if you hadn't noticed, like using explosives is definitely the best way to take out these juggernauts. There we go. That juggernaut's dead. Oh, yeah. So there's more juggernauts in here. These are the ones that were asleep earlier that I wasted time on killing because I just decided to die like a smart person, you know? Ooh. Ooh. Both of them dead. Okay. There we go. Another juggernaut dead. I think there's one more. Yeah. There's one more over here somewhere. They got another juggernaut dead. All right, I think there's still gonna be more juggernauts. Like, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Was it on the mini map? I had a feeling they were gonna be in the hallway. I didn't think they'd be right around the corner. I haven't done this mission in a little bit. Oh my God, I gotta do all that again. Dang it, I got so far too. Yeah, not such a fun mission. I think we're good in here. All right, I've made it back to the point where we were at earlier. Okay, there's a juggernaut in here somewhere. I'm ready. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah, that's right. You're dead. That's right. All right, where are the rest of these juggernauts? I am... Oh, there's going to be one at the end of this hallway, isn't it? Yep, I see you. I see you. That guy spawned in on the minimap. I appreciate that. All right, who's next? Who's next? I am so ready. Oh, oh, he's coming. He's coming. Yep. I hate this. I hate this mission so much. Oh, my God, dude. I assume I'm spawning back at that one spot again. Yep, yep. We spawn in here. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, game. Okay, good. That was the juggernaut that caused me problems last time. All right, there's going to be another one halfway up this hallway, which is awesome. Yeah, right there. Awesome. Oh, only a one shot. Nice. I like that. I think you're standing right next to explosives. Okay, are we good? Are we good? We're at the end of the silo. Uh, I'm just going to make a run for it. And... Okay, okay, good. That's a checkpoint. That is definitely a checkpoint. Awesome. We're getting out of the silo. And ah, we're not done yet. There's more helicopters coming after us. Yeah, this is our helicopter that we flew here with. And they destroyed that, which is quite dandy. So yeah, we need to jump off of this this thing right here and then we need to parachute all the way down Mount Chiliad into grape sea then we just need to get out of here I'm pretty sure right, so we parachuted down onto the road uh I called in my vehicle to spawn in right, so now we need to just get into the vigilante or my vigilante and we just need to go to the IA facility and then I'll be it all right so we finally made it to the IA facility this is so stupid can I hit this guy can I do something oh can I walk in here uh, I guess a little bit. I don't know. Well, there we go. Mission passed. That took way longer than that had to. How long did that take me? Definitely over 30 minutes. Might even push 40 minutes. Jeez. But that was our ninth hardest mission. We still have eight more missions that, in my opinion, are harder than this. So let's jump into the eighth hardest mission. All right. So we're jumping into the eighth hardest mission right here, in my opinion. And it's going to be the Pacific Standard Heist. All right. So we're doing this heist with two randoms. But we are doing this heist with one person that we are very familiar with. We're doing this heist with our boy cam that is right we're doing this heist with cam who tried to carry us throughout some of our heists so for the missions that we're going to need multiple players cam's going to help us out during these missions so besides cam the two other people in this heist are level 25 and 12 so we're going inside the pacific standard bank all right i get to hand everyone lunch bags and all right yeah let's go get the money now all right so this first part in here you know nothing too crazy there's kind of two roles in here you have these two people over here that are the crowd control and then you have one person that's a demo and they have one person, which this is the role I'm going to play. I'm going to be a hacker. All right, so for this heist, it is probably in your best interest to have one person collect all the cash. So like right now, I'm making Cam grab all the cash. He's literally going to grab the cash and he's going to sit back and kind of just watch the show. And the reason for that is because every time during this heist you get shot, your take starts to go down. So obviously, the person carrying the money, we do not want them to get shot. And last time I did this heist with Cam, I was the one with all the money and he was helping up the crowd control kind of take everyone out and try to clear me a path well this time i'm gonna play that role so yeah the game wants like the hacker and the demolition to grab all the money we're just only having one person grab all the money so yeah when you do the pacific standard heist i highly recommend you do that because your potential take at the end will be a lot higher holy crap the amount of people dead up here it could be a good thing honestly because like the noose could come by and then we can get into a van yeah i think the crowd control like actually like killed everyone from the crowd you know what screw it i'll kill someone from the 
the crowd. Some of these guys are in a weird position. Where's this position from this guy? All right, so here comes all the cops. And there it is. There's a noose van. Okay. This could be a lot better for us as far as like trying to exit out of here. But first we have to check out a bunch of people. And you know, yeah, they're already trying to shoot at me. You know, I'm a little pissed. I'm going to take them all out. And Cam's going to sit back. He's going to just grab a bucket of popcorn. He's literally just going to watch the fun happen. Yeah, I haven't done this part in so long. Like I haven't been actually like shooting people like out here in so long. Like I've always been the person that's just held the money inside. But I used to do this heist like a lot back in the day with my friends like eight years ago, something like that. All right, so Cam's coming out of the bank now. And yeah, Cam, follow me. Just follow me. So Cam, come this way. Okay, then we jump down here. We jump over here. Cam, follow me. Then we need to run over here to make sure we get this checkpoint. And some person died. All right. That was a great attempt. All right, so let's try this again. Yeah, we pretty much this beginning part, we just have to take out all these people in here. Uh, just in case you didn't see where we went, I'm going to walk you through it once again. We run over here. There's like a few people. Since I'm in the lead, I'll take these few people out. Uh, Cam, follow me this way. And then we're going to jump down here, jump down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run this way. Uh, there's a few guards in here. Let me take these guys out. Oh my God, there's a lot. Uh, Cam, stay covered for now. Let me clear you a path with these guys. All right, follow me. All right, we're going to run over here, Cam. Okay, yeah, yeah, run this way, run this way. Uh, All right, so then there's going to be a few people right in here. I got to clear a path for Cam. He's been dinged up a little bit, but we've only lost like $50,000. Not horrible. Oh, God. Almost died there. That's why it's on one of the hardest missions in the game list. That was not an accurate shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool, cool. All right, Cam, follow. Yeah, I don't think this first part is really that bad at all. I used to do this a ton back in the day. All right, so we all need to get on bikes. Uh, Cam, for now, get your own bike, but then get on my bike. Since they got the noose, uh, we're going to go get a noose van. All right, so see that van right there? That is the van that we are going to steal. Yeah, there's multiple different strategies to like do this with. Mm, nope, they, our teammates are not. So we are just going to leave them in the dust. They are going to have to learn the hard way. It says it wants us to go to the canyon. You don't have to go to the canyon. Uh, you can go straight to the dinghy. Yeah, we can go straight to the dinghy. So that's exactly what we're going to do if this cop will get out of my way. So yeah, during that like entire scuffle from us like leaving the bank to us getting in here, we'd lost like maybe $80,000. Not horrible. But at this point on, I think every attempt, your take will just keep going down and down and down. So we want to try to not lose as much money as possible. Cam, Cam, stop, 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 stop. Leave the door closed. <laughs> so yeah, right now me and Cam, we're just driving in this armored riot van and cam is literally just sitting in the back and the back of this riot van is completely armored and that's a good thing so our take will not keep going down from him getting shot because it's impossible for him to get shot in the back of this van so yeah we're just gonna take a nice little joy ride all the way to the dinghy and then hopefully our teammates will have made it to the dinghy so then we can just get in and make a run for it yeah for this heist or at least what our other teammates are doing they're gonna be riding on a bike and then they're gonna jump off a cliff and then pull a parachute. When I did this during Loser to Luxury, I deployed my parachute in a very wrong way and I smacked myself on the side of a cliff and absolutely failed the entire mission. All right, but anyways, yeah, we're off the interstate now. We are ascending down towards the dinghy. I want to take a look at where our teammates are. One teammate, I think they're flying to the dinghy and then the other one is still driving. Um, we're not going to get in the dinghy just yet. See, the way they did it, they lose the cops naturally. The way that we're doing it, we're really not ever going to lose a cop. So like when they don't have a one in level, and they get into a car with someone with a wanted level, they're going to inherit our wanted level. And I don't want them to inherit our wanted level just yet. Oh, someone... <laughs> Oh, great. Someone died. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to communicate with these people. I'm gonna do my best to communicate with them real quick. All right, so I just messaged these two teammates to get in the van with us. Uh, I mean, Cam knows where we're going now, where you have to go straight to this van. Um, perfect. Oh, my God. Cam. Cam. Oh, my Cam. Teammate... That wasn't your fault, Cam. That was not your fault. Literally, a teammate ran up behind us and just smacked the living crap out of me into that cop car. You just get in the back just immediately. Don't run us over. Okay, yeah, those people do not understand. Okay, Cam's in, and dude, Cam has lost a lot of money just off of these last two attempts. So stupid. It's not really Cam's fault. Oh my god, and that guy is dying. Dude, I'm gonna have to try to message him again. Okay, I just messaged him again. I might have to message him on GTA, like this GTA messaging. Uh, Cam, you drive. You 
drive this. I got to message him. I got to message him. All right. I just messaged that guy through the GTA messaging. Yeah, yeah. Park it right here. Here, here. Just get in the back. Just get in the back. I'll defend you. Wait, did they just drive by again? I think they did. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those two people. They want to go to the traditional route. You know what? Screw it. I'll go to the traditional route with this van. Oh my God. That guy keeps dying. Oh my gosh. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got to. If y'all are going to go that way, y'all got to do it correctly. I'm doing everything I can to message them to get into the van with us. And for some reason, all these messages are going over their head or they're just choosing not to see. I've at least messaged one of them multiple times. Like some of these low levels are a little frustrating. And yeah, this is part of the reason why the Pacific Standard Heist is very frustrating. You have to do this with randoms, even though I have my boy Cam in here who, you know, we know Cam is a pretty good player, but these other two players, you know, we don't know who these people are. And yeah, there are a bunch of low levels. It is kind of my fault that I even allowed low levels to join. But at the same time, when I'm giving directions to these low levels and they're not taking like action from these directions that I'm giving them kind of stupid. Oh, he's fall. Okay, good. No, is he getting on his own? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. One person is on the back of Cam's bike, which is nice. Very good. All right. Same thing, Cam. You just get in the back and I'll defend. Okay, we're good there. Uh, Yeah, I'll be the driver. No, no, I need to be driver. I need to be driver. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. These other people don't know. All right. So we're getting close to where the dinghy is once again. Uh, we're going to get off right here onto this dirt road. And from here, we're going to start making our way down towards the dinghy. And hopefully everyone in here can just quickly run to the dinghy. And then we just drive and we can just get out of here. And we should be good to go. I and mean, that's in theory how this should go. But I don't know with these low levels if they can even withstand that with their low health. I'm going to park as close as I can. Uh, maybe I can push this truck into the water. That's good enough. That's good enough. I'm shocked that that even worked that well. All right, so there's the dinghy right there. We got to get in the dinghy. We got to be quick. All right, ready, Cam? Ready, set, go, go here. I'll protect. Just run. You run. I got to protect everyone. Oh, my God. I, someone pushed me into the water. Okay, go, 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 go. Hit it. Go. Why am I not getting? Go, go, go. Get. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> God, these low levels, they don't have health to withstand this. We just drove all the way down there for them to die. I try to defend them as much as possible, but my goodness. All right, I got to drive all the way back to that location again because that person died right at the end. I don't really blame them for dying right at the end just because they don't have a ton of health. All right, so once again, we are close to the dinghy. Um, Hopefully everyone can survive this time. If they can't survive this time, we might never make it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to park it here and then, yeah, yeah, they're gonna just start going for it. Uh, I. Who blew that up? Who blew that up? Who blew that up? I think it was just Luis. I was trying to shoot a shot shotgun shots right at that police car. And I think Luis just pulled out some explosive, blew it up right next to me. He killed himself too in the process. So now we have to go all the way back to Los Santos. And we got to do that all over again because of one person's mistake. Oh my God. These people are so bad. Cam, Cam, we're going to do this with actually intelligent people. This is ridiculous. We're leaving. <laughs> we're going to come back. And we're going to do this with better teammates. All right. So we're going to try this specific standard heist once again. Uh, we are now doing this with a level 78 and a level 101. All right. So we're going to have to do this all over again. Um, I'm not going to show any of this until we actually get back to the bikes. All right. So once again, we've made it all the way to the getaway bike. So I'm going to pick up that armor that's right here. Uh, we're going to do the same strategy as what we tried to do last time. All right. Since my teammates don't want to come on, I want to do a little strategy. That was just a strategy I was doing. They were taking too long. I'm just getting them to the bike spot. All right, so now we're back at the bikes. Uh, I blew up the bikes and blew myself up so everyone could spawn in right here. Anyways, we're going to get that van again. So hopefully these people understand that. All right, some other guys driving. Okay, take it away, I guess. I don't know. I'll just sit back and see what you want to do. All right, so yeah, we're going to try to, it looks like, go off the mountain with the riot van. I have never tried to do this before. I'm not driving right now. This is another teammate. We don't even have that much time either. We have like two two and a half minutes left. Like, can this van even make it up this part of the mountain? Okay, we're about to head to the bridge. Oh, oh, was this the part where it's going to be a little interesting to see if you can, like, get up the mountain? Yeah, you can't get up the mountain. That's what I thought. I didn't think this could get up the mountain for some reason. Yeah, this guy really wants to go up. Dude, this is level 101 that's doing this. There, he just flipped it and then he didn't want to get... Oh, my... Dude. Oh, my... Why are people so stupid sometimes? Oh my God. I cannot deal with stupid people. I did not want this guy to drive and there's a reason because i don't trust randoms i need to be the one that does it and then look at this well i'm falling down the mountain but yeah team failed to escape the cops because that guy didn't want to go the right way which is unfortunate so we have to do that all over again all right cam just informed me he wants to take the bikes all the way there now which i mean all right i mean he might get shot a little bit more but we'll see how this goes 
No, eat snacks. I, I clicked LB and go up on my D-pad to eat snacks. I don't do that for the fun of doing that. Come on, game. Okay, that guy finally left. Jeez. No, we're getting this done, Cam. We're getting this done. All right, this is our third crew now. Uh, we are slowly increasing the levels of our teammates now. Now we have a level 260 and a level 93. We're getting slowly but surely a tad bit better. Okay, we actually completed this time, though. I would really like to be done with this so we can actually move to number seven. I mean, this wouldn't be a hardest mission video without any struggle i mean this video is all about encompassing the artist missions that really bring out the struggle in this game yeah once again i'm probably not going to show a lot of this until we get to the bikes all right do we have news this time all right no news this time okay so yeah we're definitely doing the bike strategy this time maybe not as many people will come after us this time when we take the bikes all right so we're about to make it to the bikes cam still has not eaten a single bullet yet he is, still has max health right now which is beautiful all right let's just do the traditional way just get on a bike and get out of here yeah i don't think there's that many cops here cam it's not a ton i'm running past a few cops every once in a while it's not like roadblocks like it was last time all right so i've almost made it to the bridge and this is kind of the way the game actually wants you to do this heist we're supposed to hit this bridge right here we're supposed to cross this bridge and then we're supposed to jump off of this cliff right here and then parachute so we're off parachute we're very much in control so yeah now we just need to fly all the way down to the dinghy and then yeah once we do this this, we're out of sight of the cops. So this is technically how you're supposed to do this. Hopefully everyone else can do it. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay. Everyone's on their way, apparently. <laughs> okay. I've lost the cops. This could be it. I hope. I see someone with a parachute. Our boy Nichols. Okay. And then Jazz is coming in. And now we're just missing our boy Cam. I'm going to try to back up to you. All right. Yeah. Cam is just running. Oh, Cam. He's not running anymore. He fell. All right, Cam. Just eat some snacks. You still have snacks, right? No, we just got to make a run for it. All right. So I lost the cops, but Cam didn't successfully lose the cops because he didn't jump off a cliff the right way. Let's get out of here. Please, let's get out of here. I'm very shocked we've only lost $25,000 out of this. Only $25,000 for the way that we did it. I think it's very impressive, but we did it. Oh my God. I think that took two hours. I legitimately think that took two hours. Fantastic. And this is only number eight. This is only number eight on the list. We still have seven more missions that we have to do. All right, there we go. Heist passed. I mean, we had a huge pay cut. Percentage will take a $1,875,000. We only lost like $25,000. So our actual take was like 1850 So I made $647,000. Uh, we did not get the lead challenge, unfortunately. We were five minutes a little over. I'm just glad this is done. This took me two hours. <laughs> but now it's time for us to jump into the seventh hardest mission in GTA Online. All right, so here we go. We're jumping into the seventh hardest mission in GTA Online, in my opinion, which is going to be the finale for all the casino missions, cashing out. We have a cutscene. This is actually a kind of a fun story. We just did the ULP mission. I mean, the OLP mission is not a great story. And then the Trevor mission is really no story with that. All right, here we go. We are going to get into the mission cashing out. Now, the thing with cashing out is it's very different from a lot of the other missions that are going to be on this list. I'd say the rest of these missions or a lot of these other missions, it's just, you know, shoot a lot of people, but it's going to be, you know, very tough to take out all those people. You know, missions kind of like that. This one's completely different. This one, in my opinion, is more of a finesse mission. And why I say that is because we have to go to the ranch, which I have just made it to. And then we have to take out all of Avery's bodyguards and this mission will be a lot easier if we'll be able to take out all these guys stealthy. So that is what I'm going to try to do right here. I right, said, so here we go. Yeah, I have to try to take out every guard stealthy. If you can't take out all these guards stealthy, it is going to be very, very difficult. I'll just say that. There's a camera right here that's moving back and forth around. So you want to take out these guys when the camera is not looking. Ready, set, go. Okay, those two guys are taken out. I want to take out this camera pretty quickly. Bam, there we go. Uh, there's one more guy kind of in here somewhere. Right there. Okay, last time I did this mission, I pretty much took out everyone stealthy except for like the final like group of people. And even still, oh geez, oh, hold on. I got to focus. There's a truck coming my way. Uh, oh, okay, that truck does laps. I forgot what that truck does. But anyways, yeah, I took out everyone stealthy except for like the final four people. I got alerted. But even with the final four people being alerted, like all the reinforcements still came and the reinforcements are incredibly difficult to take out so yeah we don't want that to happen uh let's see if we take out this guy ready set here we go nice there's a guy right here on this tank um okay yeah that guy's dead oh my god 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 don't run towards me okay sorry there, there's a guard that started running towards me yeah, this guard right there okay good <laughs> he was in a weird spot i didn't want to have to take him out quite yet another truck coming by Okay, that was kind of ugly but effective <laughs> uh there's a truck that doesn't move right here 
It's not gonna move when he's dead. Awesome. Dude, why are so many people running after me? They're not running. They're walking in my direction, and I don't want them to walk in my direction. This guy right here, you know, you don't have to walk in my direction anymore when you're just dead. Just keep going. That first part was a little annoying. But like, once you get in here, when it's a little bit more open, it's not too bad. Guard right here, not moving. You're still not moving because you're dead. All right, and now we're getting closer towards the building. This is where it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Oh, that guy is walking towards me. All right, I've done this before stealthy, like completely stealthy. I forgot exactly how I did it. There's just a ton of things. Okay, yeah, this is so bizarre. Oh my lord. All right, I'm gonna try to walk you through how I'm gonna tackle this. I think this has to be the way I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to take out this guy right here first, and then I'm gonna have to take out these two things together, and then I'm gonna have to take out these two things together, and then we should be good to go. I think that's how I'm gonna have to do this. This is what I'm talking about with this mission. It's so complicated if you wanna do this the best way possible. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 I wasn't close to you. No, 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 uh-uh, no, 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 kill me. That's so stupid. Uh, that happened to me last time, I forgot. All right, yeah, kill me. I want to try that again. That's so stupid. Oh, yeah, this mission is on hard, and we still have a spare life. That shows you how hard these missions are, the casino missions. This is not the only casino mission that's going to be a part of this. I'll sum up what happens when the people notice that you're here. There's, like, a ton of guards. Like, look at all these guards that come in. I had, like, three guards, and then there's just a ton of guards that come by, plus there's two helicopters helicopters, but the helicopters keep spawning in. These guys just continuously spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. It's very intense, and I'm trying to do the stealthy part a little bit more out of pride, just because, you know, I almost did it all the way through, but I got too close, quote-unquote, too close to one of the guards. All right, so when we respawn in, we can do this stealthy again. I, honestly, even at that point, it might have been in my best interest to do this stealthy, because there's a lot of guards that you have to take out, and it takes a while, too. Oh, a body's been found. Okay, okay. Now I'm just rushing. Jeez. No, I'm doing this the right way. All right, so clearly this is another mission where uh, you have to make sure that no other guard can see a dead body. Okay, okay. We're pretty much at that point again where we were at last time. Well, I'm going to do this time. I am going to walk all the way around to make sure that one guard, that middle guard doesn't see me so then I can start attacking from the other side and then work my way in. Okay, we need to go over here. Oh, the guard's right here. Got it. Okay, you're right here. In a very weird spot, but you're dead. Cool. So now what I'm going to have to do with this next guard is I'm going to have to take out the camera first and then take out the guard like i haven't even seen this pool it's a cool pool all right anyways here yeah shh, 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 shh. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out this camera and then i'm gonna quickly take out this guy right here all right ready set go no no that is not the gun i want okay that works that works that is not the gun i meant to pull out there's one more guard i have to take out i'm gonna do something pretty similar i'm gonna take out the camera and then i'm gonna take out the guard the guard's right there okay camera's over here all right ready set go Got it. Got it. There we go. That is so complicated. <laughs> there we go. All right. So Mr. Duggan, he's going to try to run away and he's going to get into this helicopter. and He's going to start flying away. Now, even if you do that first part aggressively or stealthy, like how I just did, you're going to have to take out the evac helicopter, you know, pretty much the same way. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my vigilante and this is going to be pretty easy with the vigilante. If we don't have a vigilante, it might be a little tougher. You know what? I'm going to actually do this without the vigilante. I'll use the vigilante, you know, as like a travel vehicle, but like I'll use my own weapons, you know, just to make this more like the common person doing this mission. So yeah, I could literally just get right here and take him out with a vigilante, but no. No, 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 no. Not everyone gets the luxury of having a vigilante. Okay, there we go. All of the supporting helicopters have been taken out. Now we need to take out Mr. Duggan's helicopter. Okay, hopefully that's the last missile. Very nice. Avery Duggan's helicopter's been taken out. And yeah, all we have to do now is just get back to the casino. So yeah, if we would have, you know, done this the aggressive approach, you know, after I had like failed, at least a stealthy approach, you would have had helicopters come after you that would have just shot a bunch of missiles at you. So yeah, definitely with this mission, make sure you do this stealthy. If you do this stealthy, it's complicated, but it's not the most difficult thing in the world. But just because of how complicated the stealthy part is, it's kind of why it's coming in at the number seven spot. And obviously, if you you fail at stealthy part and you don't want to you know click restart then yeah the aggressive approach is incredibly hard all right there we go we've made it back to the casino all right and there we go mission passed uh for this mission we get nineteen thousand two hundred dollars uh doing this for the first time you do get a pretty good first time bonus i would definitely recommend you to do this once at least just to get the first time bonus and just to maybe play these missions out but i will confirm this is not the final casino mission that's going to be on this list but now let's jump into the sixth hardest mission in gta online 
mine. All right, we're jumping into the sixth hardest mission right here, which is going to be on parade. Now, this mission is the newest mission on this list. This mission is a part of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. All right, so the thing with this mission is that we have to get into this Raiju right here. And then in the beginning, uh, we're going to have to, you know, test out this Raiju because apparently the military wants us to demo it or something. Something like that. I don't even know. All right, so we're in stealth mode right now, and we have to fly through this canyon stealthy. But yeah, this isn't like the hard part of this mission. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, there we go. Stealth mode is still activated. We need to go to Sandy Shores Airfield. Now, this mission is actually a pretty long mission. I mean, like, I'm doing this solo right now. This is probably one of the longer, like, solo missions in the game. All right, so yeah, now I got to do some maneuvering or something like that, which, I mean, you can just do a few barrel rolls and you'd be fine, I guess. All right, there we go. I did my maneuvering. All right, so yeah, now pretty much what I have to do is I have to take out a bunch of targets, but I don't even know if I even, like, have to take out these targets or not. Like, I'm going to give a little spoiler. I mean, this is really unnecessary for this mission. I mean, this has nothing to do with, like, the actual mission that we're going to do. But, yeah, you have to do this, like, for, like, three minutes or whatnot. I mean, you're probably thinking, why is this on the list of hardest missions in the game? Oh, just wait. Just wait. This mission, they just want you to get pretty comfortable before they just absolutely screw you over. All right, yeah, I pretty much just sat here waiting for the time to expire. And, oh, my God, Charlie is, like, actually, like, impressed by what I just did. I know, Charlie. That was, like, a very smart and intelligent thing to do. Just sit there there instead of like actually having to fly around you know i took out a few targets but you know i pretty much sat there for the last two minutes but yeah you're probably thinking like wow this is really on the hardest missions in the game now this is where it gets hard or at least a little harder uh we have to take out the merryweather agents yeah there's gonna be merryweather agents that are gonna be flying after us because yeah instead of like testing out this vehicle now we're actually gonna have to you know take out a bunch of merryweather enemies with this vehicle so yeah one thing about this mission obviously you need to be a good pilot you absolutely need to be a good pilot if you're not a good pilot then oh my god this is gonna be a little difficult for you. So yeah, that's the first thing. Um, but luckily, I'm a pretty decent flyer. I'm not an elite pilot. I can manage, I guess. But yeah, we have to take out a bunch of Merriweather agents. You think like four initially spawned in? Um, mm, It's going to be a lot. It might be like 12 at the end of it. Oh, you have to be a little careful too. I mean, I might get a little reckless at some point just because I have this sense of comfortability. But like these jets... Oh yeah, now there's jets, by the way, that are coming after you too instead of helicopters. But yeah, like these jets and helicopters, they're going to be throwing missiles at you too so for the most part it's not gonna be an issue in my opinion there might be like one stray one that accidentally runs into you and whatnot and then yeah that's gonna like ruin everything for you yeah now you thought you're done you have to take out two avengers and these avengers are incredibly beefy but i like to take out all the jets and helicopters first before i actually start attacking the avenger dude this jet's like trying to fly away from me like come on come on jet yeah there you go dead so now we have to take out the avengers now these avengers Avengers are a little bit annoying to take out. There's a few different methods you can use. Um, I'm going to see if the Avengers will follow me over to the wind farm. You don't want to like go into fast mode. You kind of want to hover over there so they can like actually like slowly come after you. So yeah, I've heard that like these Avengers can like actually just run into all the windmills at the wind farm and then they just die. It used to be like if you fly towards the city, like they would just die. I mean, they still fly into the city and they fly into the buildings, but they don't die. Oh yeah. Also, if you die here, here, you have to take out all those jets again. And it took me a while to take out all those jets. So obviously we don't want that to happen. All right, so I'm at the wind farm. Um, I'm going to get low. I'm going to get on the other side of this hill right here. It kind of force the Avengers to go kind of downhill. And hopefully like they'll just run into the windmills and boom. They're even coming after me. Where the heck are they? Okay, okay. Y'all can actually move, you know. I swear, man. Stupid Avengers. All right, let me go into fast mode. I just kind of slowly made my way over here just for them to not follow me. Maybe I have to actually like send a few missiles to kind of like wake them up, you know, because I don't think I've even attempted to try to take them out yet. I'll show you how like beefy these things are. Like let's send two missiles at a stationary target like that. Look how much damage. That was two missiles right there. It did that much damage. Like, you're probably thinking, what damage? Exactly. Exactly. What damage? Bro, what? Why aren't they moving? What? Did they, like, patch what I wanted to do or something? Where, you know, these Avengers are just going to be stationary targets or something? Is that stupid? Well, if that's the case, then this is going to make this a little bit harder. If they're still going to throw missiles at me. Because that's the thing with these Avengers. The Avengers can throw missiles at you. And, you know, you can get too comfortable just chipping away at their health. And then, you know, you just accidentally, like, run into something. 
something. I mean, hey, if you just want to sit there, I mean, that's cool with me. I don't know what's up with this mission. I don't know if I like got away with it or whatever, but I mean, these Avengers are not shooting at me, but they're not following me. So I can't do like the strategy like I wanted to show y'all to, you know, make this a little bit easier. But if this is just a glitch and this is like not normal, then I got lucky. All right, honestly, I kind of want to test it out. I want to test out just how reckless I can be. But now I use explosive MGs, which is a little quicker to take out, but you have to be deadly accurate, which I'm not. I think they are shooting missiles. See, they're just shooting missiles. I don't know if you can see that. They were shooting missiles just straight. Like that Avenger wasn't even aiming. They just sent missiles like forward. Okay, I'm cool with it. But yeah, this is not normal. Don't think this is normal. Okay, well, this Avenger is about to die. Okay, wow. Um, that was a lot easier than that usually is. Uh, like, I don't know. I'm filming this right over the Chop Shop DLC. If they, like, secretly patch that mission to make it a lot easier, then I don't think it deserves to be on this list, in my opinion. But I don't know if that's the case or not. Normal circumstances, this mission deserves to be on this list. All right, there we go. We've made it back to the hangar. And there we go. Mission passed. Yeah, not too bad at all. We got $24,000 off of that mission. Yeah, not a mission you want to do for the money, even when it's, like, double money. Like, do you really want to do all that for $42,000? I took a lot of time. All right, but now let's jump in to the fifth hardest mission in GTA Online. All right, so we're jumping into the number five hardest mission, Rescuing Agent 14. Now, this is one of the setups for the Doomsday scenario, which we will be seeing later on in this video. But yeah, this is definitely the hardest setup, in my opinion, in GTA Online. But yeah, we need to go all the way to the Pacific Alley Shipyard, and we need to go rescue Agent 14, because Agent 14 somehow got captured. All right, so we've made it over to the Pacific Allied Shipyard. So yeah, this first part is not too hard right here. We just have to take out a few people, but yeah, not a ton of people. Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully this would go a lot better for us since we don't have to deal with randoms like how we had to do with the Pacific Standard Heist. That would be very nice. All right, so we took out everyone there. Yeah, didn't really talk too much. Here. Not too hard. Yeah, now we're by Asian 14, who's right here. And this is where this mission gets a little bit interesting. So yeah, now you get my best friends walking into the building. Juggernaut, hey. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we need to get cover. And then I'm going to pull out my... Um, oh, you have to put on night vision. Ooh, I just took out two of them already. Yeah, I, I'm using a grenade launch. Oh, I already took out all of them. Or you got the last one, I think. But nice. Nice. That's huge. Oh, there's one like kind of pushing you. And yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, Cam died. But Cam, have you done this before? I forgot to ask you. Have you done this mission before? No. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is Cam's first time doing this. You didn't realize that more spawn in behind after you get those first three out the way. But it's all good. It's all good. All right. So we didn't hit that first checkpoint. We were very close. We had to take out the last wave of juggernauts and then we could have hit the checkpoint. But unfortunately, we didn't get to that point. So we got to take out all these people outside again before we can get back. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right, attempt number two with the juggernauts. <laughs> now Cam understands how these juggernauts are going to work and like where they're going to spawn in and whatever. Oh, yeah, he didn't even know that there was like night vision with this too. Yeah, you have to turn on night vision to see these guys because they're invisible. All right, yeah, okay. We just hit a checkpoint. That's huge. All right, so yeah, now we need to clear Agent 14 and path to the extraction point. And Agent 14 can be a little stupid during these missions. So yeah, this part in here, at least in my opinion, is not too bad. I mean, you definitely have to focus, but you should have a bunch of normal goons you should have to take out. All right, and this is where more juggernauts are going to spawn right in this building. So Cam, follow me. We need to go over here. And then I like to hide behind like this little bundle of wood right here. Uh, I need to take out. Hi. I didn't want to just keep poking my head out right there. I wanted to, you know, shoot and then hide again. Shoot, hide again, you know, like a smart person. But no, I just stayed out in the open. All right, but at least this time we hit a checkpoint. So yeah, we don't have to deal with like the first wave of juggernauts. Okay, we're back at this point again. We need to take out that guy. And then there's going to be more juggernauts that are going to spawn in. So let's not make the same mistake as the last time. Okay, there we go. One juggernaut dead. Uh, there's another one over here that we need to take out. There we go. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. So yeah, Cam, follow me up to like this point right here. So yeah, these last two juggernauts are a little annoying. They're behind a fence. So you pretty much just have to like chip away at their health. Okay, there we go. One juggernaut's dead. Uh, we can now just focus all of our attention on the last juggernaut. There we go. Okay, I got the last juggernaut. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get into one of these helicopters, and then we just need to fly all the way to the drop-off, which the drop-off is going to be a Polito Bay, and then we should be good to go. Okay, I lied. I thought we were going to a Polito Bay, but we don't. We're just going to Sandy Shores right here. No, always for this one. I always think we're going to Polito Bay. But that's the Avenger one. All right, there we go. I've made it over to this location. All right, and there we go. Set up past. That was the fifth hardest mission in GTA Online, but now let's jump into the fourth hardest mission in GTA 
GTA Online. All right, so now we're jumping into the fourth hardest mission in GTA Online, which is going to be the Prison Break Heist. Now, I haven't really showed like the setup screen at all for any of these, but I wanted to for this one because I kind of want to walk you through how I approach the Prison Break Heist because really I don't have too much issues with the Prison Break Heist, but I know a lot of other people do. And at least as the leader, this is how I like to tackle it. So I'm going to be the prisoner and then I'm going to make our boy Cam. He's going to be the prison officer. Uh, Void Viper, he's another subscriber. He's going to be the demolition. And then the highest level, this level 181, he's going to be our pilot. And usually if I'm doing this with randoms, I want the highest level to be the pilot because you would assume that the highest level would be the best pilot since, you know, he's had the most experience in this game. All right, here we go. We're starting up the prison break heist right here. And yeah, me and Cam, we have to go all the way to jail. We have to go all the way to the prison or at least close to the prison so we can get into the prison bus. All right, so Cam just ran to the... Okay, Cam just fell. I don't know what Cam's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam just ran to the prison bus, but it's okay. Um, okay, just ran... <laughs> All right, so we've made it to the prison. Yeah, now we just need to gain access into the prison, you know. Cam's got to, you know, do his normal sweet talk. You know how Cam does. Okay, I said sweet talk, not demand to get in. But okay, it works. It works, Cam. All right, so now we're inside the prison. All right, here we go. Now this is where the fun begins. I got to take out everyone. All I have is an AP pistol, but Cam has all of his good weapons. So hopefully Cam will give me a good helping hand. All right, so I don't think Cam has done this like, a ton. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have to, you know, show him the ropes, at least at this part. Um, So yeah, we need to go over here and collect Reshkovsky. Yeah, so we're going to give... Reshkovsky a gun, but he's not going to really do much with the gun, but it's okay. Oh, I just ran him over. <laughs> Sorry, Reshkovsky. Anyways, yeah, now we need to take out a bunch of people. Yeah, these guys are incredibly armored in here. You have to hit your headshots, and if you hit your headshots, you're fine, but if you hit them in the body, you're not gonna do that well. A good tip, if you're the prisoner, you should run over the dead bodies of all the guards that you killed because you can collect their weapons. Instead of just using an AP pistol, you can use a different weapon. Like, now I have an SMG that I can use, which is a tad bit better. Oh, yeah, so meanwhile, while me and Cam are going throughout the prison, there's gonna be someone flying in a vellum which is a pretty slow plane and then they're being attacked by an enemy jet and then there has to be someone the demolition is going to be in a buzzard that defends that plane so that's what a lot of people think is really hard about the prison break heist at least with that plane but it really in my opinion i don't really think that's too hard either all you have to do as the plane pilot is you just have to get behind the fighter jet that's coming after you it's a lot easier said than done though but yeah i just collected reshkovsky and yeah me and cam we're turning into like Olympic sprinters doing this. Like, I swear, we just went through the prison so quickly. Oh yeah, Cam's gonna drive. I'm gonna get in the back and Reshkovsky, he called shotgun back into the prison. I don't know if you heard, but yeah, he called shotgun. So he's gonna sit right next to Cam. And yeah, now we have to get back with our pilot so we can try to get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people, when I see them do a prison break heist and like they're the pilot, they try to like reconnect with each other, like out on the road and not like the big like airstrip that's half mile away or even less than that. Like, I don't know why. I see a ton of clips of people just like trying to collect people like on the road. Yeah, he used to fly away. Okay, so our pilot's flying away just because we didn't get there in time because Cam ran into a little too many obstacles, but he's going to land on the other side of the airstrip, I think. See, but that's a good thing. That's why I wanted the highest level being the pilot because this guy, he's clearly done the prison break before and he understands that like he can't just sit there as a pilot. He has to keep moving. I like that. That's good. I'm very happy that we got this guy into our prison break. All right, so now it's time for us to just sprint into the vellum. All right, so I've made it in. Cam is about to get in. Our pilot, all he has to do is just get on the runway and use a pretty clean runway for the most part. And yeah, all he has to do is pick up and now we should have to lose the cops, which isn't the hardest thing in the world. All right, so we finally lost the cops. We've hit the checkpoint. So now everyone needs to jump out the plane and this can be a little bit annoying for some people. So yeah, all we have to do is just jump out the plane and we just need a parachute and regroup at the beach. And that's pretty much it. And then the buzzard has to meet us at the beach and then we just have to get out of here. All right, so I pulled my parachute shoot and there we go we touched down that guy touched down and well, that was something, Cam. That was something. That wasn't pretty, but it was effective. As long as you didn't die, I don't care. All right, so now what we need to do is just get into the helicopter and we just need to get out of here. Now, all we have to do is return to the city. Wow. The number four thing on this list, the prison break heist took us one attempt. The Pacific Standard heist took us two hours. See, with these two heists, like even when I do have my boy Cam in here, you still have to get two other randoms to join you. So yeah, these two heists are definitely reliant on the people that you're doing 
doing it with. And yeah, with this one, we had good players to do it with. The Pacific Standard, we didn't have the best players to do it with. And there you go, heist passed. So I gave everyone 25%. I got $218,000. Pretty nice. Um, Oh, oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No elite challenge. <laughs> I forgot the time part of it. But yeah, very, very nice. So now let's just jump into the third hardest mission in GTA Online. All right. So we're jumping into the third hardest mission in GTA Online, which is going to be the mission Bad Beat. Now, right now we're watching a cutscene of us watching TV or whatever. And these cutscenes are for the casino missions. This is the second to last casino mission. See all these casino missions. They have like a little bit of a cutscene or whatever. Here's one of the Duggan guys. I forgot this guy's name, but yeah, one of the Duggans is pretty much warning us that the Duggans are pretty much going to attack the casino. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'll just skip through it. All right, and yeah, here we go. Yeah, we have to take out a bunch of people. Um, Oh, Jesus. I don't think this is the right spot. Oh, that's a good guy. Oh, okay. So yeah, the thing with this mission is that there's a ton of people we have to take out. And these people are deadly accurate. Like, it's kind of comparable to like Avon Hertz is like goons. Like, honestly, they're like even that accurate. And the thing that makes this mission pretty hard is that there's not like a good hiding spot. Like, I'm at a decent hiding spot right now, but I'm still getting like chipped away at a little bit. Like, this mission, you need to at least have like two players to do it with up until like late 2022. That was the case. But yeah, now it's not the case anymore. Yeah, now you can do it solo, but I think it was definitely coded into the game for multiple players to do. That's why I think like it's pretty hard to do as like a solo player. I mean, luckily I've done this a few times, so I understand like what I'm getting myself into here with this mission. And there we go. I got a little too reckless and I died. That is fantastic. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. These missions are so hard that instead of having like no spare lives on hard, you have one spare life. That's how crazy hard these missions are. So you have to like slowly move up, make sure everyone's taken out and everything. No. Yeah, I might already be running out of snacks and I had full snacks to start out this mission. All right, so I think we can move forward. I think you're yeah, pretty much with this mission. Oh, all we're doing is dying. Ha 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 Um, yeah, we didn't hit the checkpoint either. Yeah, this is great. See, already at that first part, I had to get 36 kills. That's a lot of kills that we have to get at that beginning part for like not even a good spot to like hide behind either. Yeah, I'm doing this on my main account. It's giving me this much issues. Like usually on like my loser to luxury accounts, I don't have like the best weapons in the game. Like on this account, I'm using the best weapons in the game. I'm using the service carbine, which I love this gun so much as far as like an AR is concerned. We're still having a little bit of issues trying to complete this. Yeah, luckily these guys, they don't have like the best like armor in my opinion like you can kill them with body shots and like avon hurts his goons some of avon hurts his like goons you have to hit headshots or it's gonna be a chore just to kill them so yeah all we're doing for this mission is literally just killing people there's nothing else to this mission it's just a bunch of killing these guys are so difficult to take out it's ridiculous see like most of these other missions there's like more to the mission than just you know killing like this mission is literally just killing that's it it's just so many people we have to kill and the fact that there's not a good hiding spot, you know, to like take cover and then like go about this, you know, conservatively. But yeah, like they don't miss their shots either. And there's a ton of them too. No, I didn't know you were just hiding behind the freaking helicopter that shot out the sky. That's awesome. Love that. All right. So there's like a checkpoint somewhere in here. Uh, We're close to getting it, but I don't want the checkpoint. I just want this to be over. <laughs> Wait, this is one of our allies. I need to wake him up, you know, do something. Oh, did he die from that? Oh my God. Like, how did he die from an up and atomizer shot? Like just one. Jeez. There is so many people we have to take out. Bro, these guys just keep spawning in and spawning in and spawning in. It's crazy crazy. All right, I just ran out of snacks. I literally ran out of snacks during this mission from the amount of people I've had to take out. I don't even have that issue during the doomsday scenario. Like, imagine that. I'm quite literally out of snacks. Luckily, we're almost done with this mission. We've at least hit the checkpoint. All right, so we've pretty much taken out everyone on this floor. Now we need to, like, walk up this flight of stairs right here. And there's a few more people we have to take out up here. So you probably think, ah, oh, it's almost done. It's just a walk in the park at this point. Nah, not a hundred percent that way. It's not as many people up here well there's a thing right there it's a juggernaut hey it's a nice beautiful beautiful juggernaut haha <laughs> so yeah we are somehow gonna have to try to take out this juggernaut without dying from some of the other people like that guy right there nice okay since i don't have snacks or armor i'm gonna have to sit here and wait for my health to regen and uh, let me regroup for a second so yeah there's a juggernaut right there and how i like to take out this juggernaut is i kind of like to throw sticky bombs kind of like his way you know play a little game of tag right and just have some of this you know this is like the only like true like tip i can really 
give, at least in my opinion, for this mission. I mean, the rest is pretty just self-explanatory. Just kill. I mean, that's like the only tip I can just truly give other than like be patient. But anyways, wait, hold on, hold on. You want to see some fireworks? You want to see some fireworks? Ready, set beautiful so we don't have to deal with the juggernaut now that's good but now we have to take out like a few more guards i know i can just die pretty easily because i don't have any snacks wait hold on hold on hold on let's be smart let's be smart we're a smart person right you know the bank is open right the bank is open oh okay i didn't want that to bank that way but i still got the kill nice uh one more kill i have to get i think i mean as i said before the bank is open we're gonna hit that it's gonna ricochet a little bit and boom and yeah there we go pretty nice all right and there we go mission pass for this mission i made nineteen thousand dollars but for this one you do get a first time bonus along with all the other casino missions but this isn't my first time so i'm not getting a first time bonus but anyways let's jump into the second hardest mission in gta online all right, here we go. We're jumping into the second hardest mission in GTA Online, which, as you can see, is another casino mission. It's going to be the third casino mission, Strong Arm Tactics. Now, this is going to be pretty similar to the last mission that we just did, Bad Beach. It's a little bit different in a way that makes this a tad bit harder, at least in my opinion, than Bad Beat. All right, but here we go. We're actually starting up the mission now. We have to drive Chang and his translator all the way to a meeting with the Duggins. So yeah, right now, I just have to drive all the way there, which is a little bit annoying. All right, so we've made it over to the vineyard. Okay, well, I guess I missed the checkpoint, barely. We've made it over to the vineyard. Can I run over this guy? I alerted Avery. I, I, okay, okay, okay. This guy just stood there. He could have gotten out the way, you know, um, not my fault. I better not have to drive all the way over there again. I just wanted to do that for a little laugh, you know? No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, I don't want to have to drive all the way there. It is not a fun drive. It's four miles in the mountains. God dang it. I just did that just to see what would happen. And Oh my God. Okay, this isn't the hard part of this mission. I'm just making this even harder on myself for no specific reason. Oh. Awesome. All right, so we've made it back here. All right, don't hit the guy. Okay, we hit the checkpoint this time. All right, so now we have another cutscene. Oh, no, Mr. Chang. Why would you pull out a gun? Well, Avery Duggan seems pretty chill about it. Okay, never mind. He wants us to be annihilated. Awesome. Yeah, another mission where we're going to have to take out a bunch of Avery Duggan's people. And yeah, there's a ton of people we have to take out during this mission. Like, even more like helicopters and whatnot. But the thing with this mission, in comparison to Bad Beat, is that we actually have to, like, maintain the translator and Mr. Chang health and they sometimes have a mind of their own like i am not gonna lie they sometimes decide they want to be very very stupid that's why in my opinion this is a little bit harder than bad beat not much harder but it's a little bit harder well, that was embarrassing. That was an embarrassing run right there. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Okay, yeah, uh, I am not playing well right now. This is not good. Okay. Yeah, the, the translator in Mr. Chang's health did not go down really that much. So that, that's not bad. This mission is about to get a little bit annoying in a little bit. So we have to take out all those guys right there. Okay, yeah, then as soon as Miss Baker calls us, yeah, Mr. Chang, he literally just starts running this way. So I literally have to go and defend him because he's stupid and, you know, can't defend himself clearly. Okay, okay. He's at a decent spot now, but yeah, there's... You kidding me? I had like pretty good health right there too. And the, the person in the back of that truck in the gunner seat, you got like one shot on me and I died. That is fantastic. Yeah, we had to kill 59 people right there. We were almost done from that spot. Yeah, there's no really checkpoint. I mean, at least we don't have to drive all the way up here again. That's a plus, but not a great plus. But yeah, we have to take out all those people once again. So that's awesome. Yeah, luckily Mr. Chang didn't die though because I get pissed when Mr. Chang dies because, you know, I just think he's stupid because he is stupid. Like he just runs at the most stupid what are you doing translator just stood there right next to me like at least take cover at least mr chang's taking cover i thought you were the, supposed to be the smart one translator man but okay whatever oh my god the translate the translate get on this side of the freaking fountain you're in harm's way dummy like i don't know if you notice this like i'm right next to mr chang the translator is over on the other side you know he's not understanding the concept of taking cover all right miss baker's calling us which that means mr chang likes to run this way so yeah we have to sprint this way and defend them. Yeah, that is like my main tip for this like mission. As soon as Miss Baker calls you, Mr. Chang will start running. Run after Mr. Chang because he cannot defend himself, clearly. 
Okay, there we go. That truck that killed me last time has been taken out. So I don't think there's any more like vehicles that we have to take out. So yeah, I think there's just a few more guards just scattered around here somewhere. Dude, look at all the money that's just laying on the ground. Like, geez, I can become a millionaire just off of this mission killing everyone. Like, my goodness. Oh yeah, and also there's a truck that couldn't make it all the way up. Oh, because there's a freaking helicopter in its way. Here, I'll move the helicopter out the way for you. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you guys. <laughs> Wait, there was only one guy in there? Why was there only one guy in there? There was only one guy in the truck. You want to get up, huh? 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 No, you're not getting up. Get up. Get up. You won't. You won't. You won't. Oh, you will? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get up. Get up. Well, that was satisfying. All right, so yeah, now we have to get into the cognitive setting. We're not completely done yet, but that was pretty much the hard part. I did it pretty efficiently. Only my second attempt to complete this. I did this kind of recently. Did it like a month ago. I was still pretty familiar with it. Mr. Chang and the translator is in the cognitive setting, and we just have to drive to the country club, but there's going to be enemies coming after us. I have died trying to get to the country club because the reinforcements are a little bit annoying to try to get around. So yeah, a bunch of the Duggan, they set up like roadblocks and whatever, but I mean, luckily I can just maneuver my way around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah! Dude, I think it's funny just listening to them, like, scream. And, all right, we have made it back to the country club. Oh, my God, Agatha Baker. Wow, she's just standing right there. I'm not going to run her over because um, that would ruin the mission, and I just want this to be over. All right, and there we go, mission pass. Oh, uh, once again, this is another mission. We can get a first-time bonus, but we got $16,000 right there. Not too bad. But now let's jump into the hardest mission in GTA Online. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the hardest mission in GTA Online, and it's going to be the doomsday scenario. And of course, we're going to do this on hard. All right, so we've made it here, and now we have the choice between picking the Kanjali or the Barrage. Now, obviously, we're going to be choosing the Kanjali right here, and yeah, I'm going to let Cam drive, and it's going to be a lot easier for us when we use the Kanjali. If you use the Barrage, you'll get paid a little bit more, but it is a lot lot harder especially with the juggernauts right at the beginning so yeah i highly recommend you use the kanjali all right we finally made it over to the facility but we still need to make our way through this tunnel this is where we're gonna get started with this mission but this mission's not hard just yet so yeah there's gonna be a few guards in here but yeah we're in a tank we can easily take them out or just even just drive past them if we want to all right so we've made it to the end of this tunnel and there's gonna be four juggernauts hey hey juggernauts so yeah cam now needs to take out all these juggernauts with the tank all right there you go all all the juggernauts have been taken out now this is where this mission gets really really difficult because now we have to deal with a ton of guards that just spawn in and these guards there are more guards that you need to hit your headshots with and this is another mission you're going to need a ton of snacks for too so if you do this mission you need to get snacks all right yeah so there's another juggernaut coming through so i like to just take a grenade launcher you can chill out of the camera all right yeah i think i already took out the juggernaut there so now there's going to be more guards that we need to take out all right so now we're going to have to destroy the supplies uh looks like cam's gonna go on his own i'm cool with that i trust cam yeah there's a ton of guards that we have to take out. i think probably in total it's definitely over 150 guards that we have to take out i don't know the exact number though it's definitely over at 150 and unfortunately cam died all right let's try this again all right yeah so now i'm gonna take the reins right here so yeah this is what you want to do take out these juggernauts right in here just bam well bam oh i got two kills with one shot like that and then and okay there we go nice and then this room like right in here these guards like are very deadly they hit their shots so easily yeah i've done so many videos on this heist so like i'm pretty used to this heist but still it is an incredibly hard heist to try to Wait, what? yeah yeah these guards do not miss all right so yeah i like to use a grenade launcher right in here a lot of other people like to do some other stuff okay we're good but yeah a lot of people like to use a rail gun like an rpg i really like the grenade launcher at least in this scenario just in case if like you get too close to another obstacle or something like that you don't accidentally like shoot the thing in front of you and blow yourself up that's why i personally like to use the grenade launcher because i sometimes try to do things quickly and actually accidentally blow myself off and that's not good so yeah we have to walk throughout here and just destroy a bunch of supply crates like those things right there but as we walk up there's gonna be more and more guards we have to take out which is a little bit annoying okay that's the final crate right there so now we need to go to the control center or at least try to make it there but there's gonna be two more juggernauts that are gonna spawn in so i like to get to a certain vantage point uh there's gonna be a guard right there i need to take out which i didn't uh yeah right there of course, he still didn't die. 
Okay, there we go. That guy's dead. That guy. Take over. Take over, Cam. Yeah, we need to take out a juggernaut that's going to be down there. I'd like to do a no-look shot. There's one juggernaut dead. I don't know about the other. Do you see the other one on the other side? Did I just get the other juggernaut? I don't see another juggernaut. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Cam, hug the left side because I just did a video recently where I hugged the right side and I died. All right, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Okay, we're almost there. This has actually been a pretty smooth run, but I've done this a lot this past year. Just all the videos I've made. And I even did it like maybe like even four days ago, I think. Something like that. But anyways, yeah, we've made it to the control center. That's a checkpoint. That's huge. Yeah, we've made it to the control center. Absolutely huge. What was that our third attempt? That is not bad at all. I'm very pleased with this attempt so far. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to go to the second floor, but there's going to be a lot more guard. Okay, yeah, I didn't get down in time and I died, but I don't really care at this point because we hit a checkpoint, so we can just spawn right back at that point where I died. That is absolutely huge. Oh, yeah, so here we go. So, yeah, I like to hide right in here, and then, yeah, we have a bunch of guards that we need to take out. So, yeah, now we need to go to the second floor. We're going to take these stairs right here, and at this point, I'm going to be the hacker. So, what I like to do as a hacker is I just like to sprint. I don't care if anyone's shooting at me because they're not going to hit me because I'm running so fast. So yeah, I've already made it to the first hack and then we're going to just do a hack. And while I'm doing the hack, Cam has to defend me. And now this isn't like an easy hack. This is probably the hardest hack in the game or at least like the second hardest hack in the game. Maybe the Diamond Casino hack is harder. I don't know. That could be up for debate, but this hack is a little bit difficult. It's a little bit long. So yeah, Cam is going to have to just sit there and defend me. We'll have to do this hack or do a hack for this four times. All right. And there we go. Hack number one has been complete. It sounds like Cam is still doing his thing. But now we need to go all the way to the other side of this like room. So what I'm going to do, just sprint. We're absolutely just going to sprint all the way to the other side. Am I shooting anyone? No. I'll pull out my shotgun just in case if someone's just right in front of me, but there is not. So I don't even care. We're just absolutely sprinting. And then boom, we already made it to the second hack and now it's time to hack. And Cam is just going to keep doing his thing and defend me. All right, there we go. Second hack has been complete. We have two more hacks that we have to do. Yeah, same as before. Uh, there's a guard in front of me, kind of. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll get a few kills. Why not? Okay, just stay down. Okay, yeah. Don't waste a ton of time just shooting these people. You can absolutely just outrun these people. And then boom, I'm already at the third hack. All right, there we go. Third hack done. We have one more hack to do. And there's a guard right next to me. It's a little annoying. Stay down. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, there we go. Final hack has been complete. Now we just need to take out the rest of Avon Goons. I can now actually help out my boy Cam here. All right, there we go. I think Avon Goons has been taken out, right? Yeah, okay. All of Avon's Goons has been taken out. So now we need to go to the top floor. Man, yeah, this is kind of exciting for Cam. This is Cam's first time going to be able to complete the doomsday scenario. All right, so yeah, we have to use these orbital cannons to take out these servers. Yeah, this part of the mission is not too bad at all. Pretty easy. Yeah, I would say like the hard parts of this mission is over. We actually, for the most part, breeze through it. Not really too much concern at all, which is incredibly nice. All right, there we go. Another mobile cloud server has been taken out by me. Two more mobile cloud servers that need to be taken out. All right, there we go. Cam just got one of the mobile cloud servers. I'm about to hit D right here. And there we go. So yeah, let's get out of here. And now let's actually exit the lab. All right, so now we need to get out of the silo. There's going to be a few more guards that we have to take out. Now during, what was it? The ULP cleanup mission, we had to take out juggernauts at this point. It's a lot nicer that we can actually, you know, just take out normal people. Yeah, this is going a lot better than the juggernauts in here, I will have to say. Let's keep moving forward. Let's smack a guy for fun. Dude, we got to get Cam his first ever doomsday scenario completion. Oh! <laughs> Okay, Cam accidentally killed himself. Um, I think he accidentally hit one of the wooden like crates. And the only reason I know this is because I just did it earlier in this video. Like some of the wooden crates, at least in those hallways, they're filled with explosives. So if you accidentally shoot one of those wooden crates, you like blow yourself up. Okay, uh, Cam, this time don't shoot like a wooden crate in here. Oh, I almost just did. I almost just did. Like the auto aim almost just directly play. Sorry, I'm trying to do this quick. I'm not trying to do this effective. That's on me, Cam. I'm trying to get Cam's first ever doomsday scenario, and I'm being stupid. Oh, Cam just hit level 100. Shout out to Cam. All right, so yeah, Avon now is trying to escape us with his jetpack, and yeah, we're not going to allow that to happen. So yeah, with these jetpacks, we have like missiles on them too, so we can track down Avon. Okay, there we go. I just got Avon hurt. So yeah, now all we have to do is just deliver the thruster back to the observatory, and that's all we have to do for the hardest mission in GTA 
online. All right, there we go. I've landed and Cam. And there we go. That is Cam's first ever doomsday scenario. All right, so that was the 10 hardest missions in GTA Online. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my list? And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any fire GTA Online content like this. Because why would you want to miss this stuff? This is the best GTA Online content that you're going to see out on YouTube. Like, come on, guys. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see viewers get one attempt to try to complete my heist in GTA Online.